Hello, I'm Michael. My name is Annie Camila Anderson and I'm 19 years old. My name is Renee Anderson and I'm 17 years old. Michael, Annie Camilla and Rene are students at the Fugel Fiegelen Production High School in Wissenberg, Denmark. In companionship with their schoolmates, they gain first practical experience. It's learning how to sew different things and also working with glass. At the media line, I take photos of people, for example, for their passport. At Fugel Fiegelen Production High School workshops in IT and media, metal, wood, cooking and fibercraft can be attended. Her på værksted, der der laver vi meget i kostumer. Here in the workshop we do quite a lot of costumes. We make costumes for an opera at Vladimir Castle for instance. We also do glasswork in order to consider the interest of a broader range of students. Eh en større bredde af elever. The teachers at Fugel Fiegeland have to carry out a very particular kind of work. The um 15 to 26 year old. They are between 15 and 26. Students are very different here. Some have tried vocational education but dropped out. Some have not had any other education, which makes teaching difficult. That is why the education is individually arranged and there is also learning by doing. Therefore, it is the whole individual education and it is also learning by doing. The most important is to make the young people believe in themselves. Everything we do is about enhancing their self-worth and gaining their desire to learn. Within the workable project, the situation of the young people is researched by the Aarhus University. Niels Rosenthal Jensen focuses on the capability approach, which means going beyond common human capital and employability oriented perspectives. The most important thing to us is I think this combination with the capability approach offers us for combining discussions on work, education, leisure time, voice and so on. So that you are not only interested in work or education or leisure time, but in the combination of these things to have a well, kind of many-sided life, a flourishing life and so on. In Wissenberg, the teachers are highly attended to these aspects of capability, even if the main focus is to arrange internships for the young people. This is not an easy challenge, but the school team is well connected. We have many contacts to private companies because they are good at giving our students internships. It doesn't matter if it is production school students who are in a 14-day internship or students in a basic vocational education and training who are in paid internships. Within this workable project, it is important to find new ways and new bridges between schools, training institutions and workplaces. So there have been developed over the years in Denmark alternate schools, with more practical training, practical orientation, more on an individualized level so that each young person could fit into and, uh, based on the idea that one size doesn't fit all. Michael has developed his skills and talents at Fugel Fiegelen Production High School and he is now working at a plastic production company. I work with materials, plastic materials, both die cast and liquid, sorting and counting materials. So what these uh, schools are doing and what we are doing by bridging new ways from school or training institutions, training schools to workplaces is also to develop a kind of hope, self-esteem, self-trust, uh, so that young persons feel that, well, I'm good enough, I can do the job, and they would like me out there. So I think this is a kind of uh, consciousness we, so to say, are operating within this framework of the capability approach that the professionals has to uh, consider and reconsider again and again. Uh, I'm not the one who is going to take the decisions. The young person should do it himself and I have to accept that he takes decisions which I don't like. 
So I think in, in that sense we are in fact uh, developing a kind of thinking also within uh, the job centers or educational institutions where they are slowly but anyway in a good way trying to find out how, how can young people have a, a voice. And well, I think without this capability approach you would never have that discussion at all. And what do René, Aini Camilla and Michael expect for their future? I hope to be able to get a job as a bus driver. Yeah. I think I would like to attend a technical school. Yes. Yeah. And is there a specific line you would choose? I think I would like to become a painter. Then I have gone on to become a plastic maker's apprentice. I want to become a plastic maker.